Hey, everybody, Justin Wu Lee coming in. So a lot of people are really heated about what's taking place in Nevada right now with Clive and Bundy, the cattle rancher, getting surrounded by hundreds of armed goons. They've set up a free speech zone. They have not covered this on the mainstream media. There is a press blackout taking place. They have kidnapped his kid at one point. There's also allegations that they might have abused his kid in the kidnapping that took place. They've also been stealing his cattle for a few weeks now and all over the false narrative that they're trying to protect an endangered tortoise species, which is complete bullshit. And if you even think that that's the case, I would like to remind you of this coming out of 2009. In the Central Valley in California, this is some of the most fertile farmland in the entire country and helps sustain the entire country in terms of food and what has become ground zero in a battle between environmentalists and whether or not the farmers in the Central Valley here have water. Ladies and gentlemen, this has become a dust bowl. And we came here tonight with a message for Washington and President Barack Obama. Please, for the sake of the farmers where unemployment is now near 40 percent, please turn this water on now. Hope is in the future. We are hungry for change. We will transform this country. We are ready to believe again. All of those promises, all of that hope, and yet in the San Joaquin Valley of California, hope doesn't spring eternal. This land was once considered the breadbasket of America. Roughly 12% of our nation's agricultural output came from this valley between Bakersfield and Sacramento. But everything has now changed. Today, their water is gone, shut off by the government. And the same people whose cheers of hope and change echoed from this valley all the way to Washington have been abandoned in favor of a fish barely large enough to fit into the palm of your hand. The scene here today is more reminiscent of the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. Farms that once fed the nation are barren, the parched and cracked earth. It's right out of the grapes of wrath. Thousands have lost their jobs. They line up each and every day at unemployment offices for the chance merely to put food on their table. Oh yeah, now that's some grade A environmentalism right there. Decimating the California countryside, obliterating thousands of American jobs, and absolutely destroying a large portion of our homegrown food supply. A plus for you environmentalist fuckers out there. So if you think this Clyde Bundy issue is about a fucking tortoise, you best take your head out of your ass. And a lot of people in my circle are ready to roll out to Nevada right now. Locked and loaded. I'm one of them. You guys let me know. Is Nevada where the revolution's going to start? And is now the time? Let me know, guys. I got a lot of people up in arms. I'm up in arms. Time's probably short on this. A lot of people have a bit of driving to do if they're going to make it out there. And uh, I would prefer to get there to save Clyde Bundy, not to get there to hear that he has been shot like, in fact, another Waco or Ruby Ridge. Because um, at that point, I won't be there to be a show of force. I'll be there to get revenge like everyone else in the convoy that would roll up there. Keep in mind that's exactly what we should have is a complete convoy. So let me know what you think. Get others on board. Have them let me know what they think. This is Just Wu Lee, signing out.